reading the book I read was Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. And for this one, um, this one's kind of hard to summarize. So I'm just going to read the inside um, synopsis on the inside. Okay, so it says... <clears throat> Serafina, daughter of Isabella, queen of Myanmar, has been raised with the expectation and burden that she will someday become the ruler of the oldest civilization of the Merfolk. On the eve of the Dakamir ceremony, which will determine if she is worthy of the crown, Sarah is haunted by a strange dream that foretells the return of an ancient evil. But her nightmare is forgotten the next day as she diligently practices her her song spell, eagerly anticipates a reunion with her best friend Nila, and anxiously worries about Mahdi, the crown prince of Matali, and whether his feelings toward her and their future betrothal have changed. Most of all, she worries about not living up to her mother's hopes. The document proceeds a dazzling display of majesty and might until a shocking turn of, of events interrupts it. An assassin's arrow wounds Isabella. The realm falls into chaos, and Serafina's darkest premonitions are confirmed. Now she and Nila must embark on a quest to find the assassin's master and prevent a war between the mer nations. Their search will lead them to other mermaid heroines scattered across the six seas. Together, they will form an unbreakable bond of sisterhood, and they un as they uncover a conspiracy that threatens the world's very existence. So, yeah. <clears throat> this book, I did um, enjoy the story. It caught my interest from the beginning, the way it started off. It started off with um, Seraphina's dream, um, where there were these river witches trying to contact her, um, and the whole, there's this, like, chosen one, and you have to find the other five, and so, right from the start, it grabbed my interest, um, but it wasn't quite what I was expecting. I gave this a three and a half stars. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. Um, it was still interesting to read about, um, the storyline was interesting, um, one thing, there's a lot of, um, terms in here that you're learning, and so there's a whole glossary in the back, but it's, it was kind of annoying having to stop every time a new term comes up, having to stop and look it up in the glossary in the back, so I really didn't like that part, and then the other thing with this book is even though they're mermaids and they live in the sea, it felt too much like our world. Like there's even this one part where one of the mermaids is talking about how she um how she works at her parents shop um after school she works in her parents shop selling stuff. And it just, it felt too much like our world and didn't really have the whole, like, feel of, you know, I'm living in the ocean and I'm a mermaid. So, um, yeah, that part was a little disappointing. It just felt too much like our world and not enough, like, you know what you would expect, um, what you would expect, um, living in the ocean. And so, that was kind of the downside to that. Um, one interesting thing in here is that it did incorporate the lost city of Atlantis, and, um, pretty much the way it explained how Atlantis sunk and what happened to it. That was really interesting. 
um, to read about, and so I really, um, I really enjoyed that part of it, like, I just, it was a different take on the city of Atlantis, um, a different take, so I really enjoyed that part, but overall, it was just mm, okay to me, um, like I said, I gave it three and a half stars, I do have the second book, and I will be reading it, I don't know when, how soon I'll pick it up, the way this one leaves off, it does make me want to read the second one, but I'm not dying to get to it right away, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for that one, and then, the last book that I am going to talk about, um, this book has gotten a lot of hype on YouTube, and I can see why, because it, I really enjoyed it, it was, I thought it was really, really good, um, and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Sub. Sabar Saba to hear, and I really really enjoyed this book. Um, this one is another one that has dual perspectives, so you're reading from two of the main characters' point of views. Um, Le Le Leia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Leia. And then, um, Elias. So, those are the two main characters. Those are the point of views you're reading from. And, basically, um, Leia, she, um, she is a scholar, I believe it is. She's a scholar. So, there's this whole, like, caste system with scholars and marshals and all this stuff and Leia is a scholar so she's kind of like on the lower end of the system and one day um uh several marshals come to her home and pretty much um she lives with her brother and her grandparents and right from the very beginning to start um the marshals come, her grandparents are killed, her brother gets taken away um, as a prisoner. And so basically she is trying to find a way to um, find a way to help him um, escape. So she's trying to find this rebel group of scholars that um, rebel against uh, the Empire, the Martial Empire, and so trying to get them to help her, um, find her brother and break him out. And then Elias is a Marshal who does not want to be a Marshal as he doesn't like all the violence and brutality that comes with it. He doesn't like the way the scholars are treated. And he just wants to be free of all that. He wants to run away and be free. But before he gets a chance to do that, um, he finds out that um, he gets told, I forget what the name of these creatures are in the book, but um, he gets told by this creature that if you, if you stay... You'll, if you stay and don't run away, you'll find the freedom that you really wanted. But if you end up running away now, you're going to end up becoming everything you hate. So he decides to stay and ends up, um, he, there ends up being this competition which he gets pulled into um, where they have to find the new emperor, um, and so there's a whole bunch of trials that he has to go through, um, 
And I don't want to say too much more because I don't want to give away anything. But I really enjoyed this book. I liked how um, Leia and Elias' world, how their lives sort of um, intersected. And I like them to get their Leia and Elias. I really do like them to get their, I think that she brings out a side of him that um, because of her, her defiance and her free spirit, I think she brings out a side of him that um, that's really good for him. Like, she brings out this... I feel like she will help push him to, you know, fight for what he believes in what he knows is right rather than just trying to run away but actually make a stand and fight for what he knows is right. So I think she has that ability to bring that side out in him. So I really do like them together. There are a couple other love interests for Leia and Elias that I'm just like, I don't like them. Like, there's um, Leia's other love interest is Keenan, which I think they're just better off friends. I don't really see them together. And same with Helen and Elias. Um, they grew up as they grew up together and they're best friends. And I think they're better off just being friends. Um, I really don't think. Helen and Elias are a good fit together um, just because she's not going to be able to challenge him and bring out the side in him that Leia will and I don't, I just don't think they would be as good of a fit together but um, anyway I did really like the storyline it was really interesting um, one thing, this book is not afraid to be brutal and bloody. There's a lot of bloody scenes in here, so if you don't like gore and stuff, it may not be the best um, for you, but um, I really did enjoy it. It was really good. Um, I liked seeing how the story developed. I liked seeing um, Elias and Leia's uh, development, their character development. I'm really interested to see where the story goes from here, especially how it ended. I really, really want the second book now because I want to see where this is going. And um, one other thing about the characters in this book is the characters are super great and amazing. And you either love them or you hate them. And when you hate them, you really hate them. Especially the commander and Marcus. Like, you really hate them. Um, so, this book had just amazing, great characters. Um, really great storyline. And I just, I can't wait to continue with it. So, yeah, I gave it... I believe I gave it a 4.5 stars, um, 4.5 stars out of 5. Like I said, the only thing I didn't really think is necessary was um, the, the love interest between Helen and Elias or with Keenan and Leia. I really didn't think the, those love interests were necessary um, and I really didn't like them. But other than that, I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, it was amazing. And I cannot wait for the next one. So that's pretty much it. Now this was sort of a long video, which I'll have to sort of break down into parts. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys read in May, um, what you think of the books you read, and if you read any of 
these books that I showed. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of them.